Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Gatavik. Yes, Gatavik. It's what I said it is, and if you don't know what that is, well, then I'll explain it to you, because it probably doesn't make any sense to anybody. But it's Gata colon Vic. So yes, Michael, it's Michael, it's Grand Theft Auto, Michael Vic. That's what we're playing today. The game of mercilessly killing dogs, and then doing other odd jobs for strange Italian men, or Cuban men, or strange, overly Western men that like to blow up apartment buildings with re remote-controlled helicopters, and I just flipped over a car. <laughs> that was rad. So, remember the time when I got a copyright strike uh, on my last video? for having copyrighted material in my video. Yeah, me too. I remember, actually, I totally remember when that happened, because it totally did. I got a copyright claim from having fucking Ozzy Osbourne's Bark at the Moon on my last video, because, oh, dear God, it's not like I'm not making hand over fist for all the royalties from that song anyways, says Mr. Osbourne. Sorry, I had to, I had to itch my ankle there, so I was just totally destined to slam into that car, and apparently the cops really just didn't give two squirts of jizz and piss about it. They're just like, eh, whatever. It'll sort itself out one of these days. And if it doesn't, well, then maybe I'll have something to say about it. But, yeah, so that's what's going on there. I had the same thing happen with my GTA 3 series a while back, so I guess that's just how that's going to be. They want me to remove the, the, uh, they want me to remove the song from my audio, which I don't know exactly what they mean by that, whether that means just, like, muting a certain part of my video, or if they really do have the technology to go in and actually just remove the clip of that song without having to damage the rest of my audio. I don't know how it works, and, you know, whatever. That way I can still have this bad boy monetized. Either that or I can just do the, I acknowledge that I have your song in here, and then you can just put your own things over on my kind of video, and then whatever, I won't make money fool, out of it, but who cares? Fool! 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 Tommy! What, Ricardo? These idiots, they're always trying to screw you. That's the problem with this business. First thing I want what you to do, do is go buy me a new doing? cell phone. Jesus! He just picked that thing up with one These hand! He palmed it like a basketball, like Michael Soon Jordan. Any mom and pop will think they could sell Gallo in Vice City. What next, huh? The stinking mafia? That gang place is a fortress at ground level. So Quentin here. Quentin! Quentin! Who fly you over the area? I'm also gonna need you to you get me a pair of pliers so I can pry half of this what necklace that's embedded in my doing? skin out. Meanwhile, we'll go deal with this. What are you doing here? Hey, I've been asking around. It's obvious that Diaz jumped the deal and iced my brother. And he'll kill you, too. I can take Diaz. No, listen to me. I'll handle Diaz. He's beginning to trust me. And now somebody's playing Half-Life. God damn it, I hate these missions so much. Uh, I really don't... Okay, well, you know what? That's actually not that bad. I was thinking I was going to have to fly the damn thing, and now I don't. <laughs> yeah, that is a pretty shitty name, actually. Nope. I play lots of video games on a Commodore, none of which have you do this. But I'm just naturally gifted at this at this art. It sounds great, because I have infinite ammo for this bad boy, so I can just sit here and fire away all day long with this one random bead of rain that's just kind of chilling in my view space here. I'm trying, I'm trying. The sensitivity on this thing is so bad. Which, uh, by the way, this reminds me of the little debacle that we had yet, uh, the last video here. Um, the whole button mapping thing that I got myself into, that was actually 100% my fault, because uh, I did a little bit of off-camera stuff trying to figure out the button configuration, and it was totally on my remote. I'm just... I was just too fucking stupid to realize it, and so I literally went through all that trouble without even having to have done it in the first place. If I would have actually just literally used all the buttons, I would have totally realized that it was the... But it's still a weird configuration. But... 
I definitely made it way harder than it needed to be. Ha <laughs> ha! You did! Oh, oh, come on, blow up the truck! Blow up the truck! Yeah! Alright! You fucking dead, man. So, yeah, that was totally my fault. It's it's a button that's still not ideal for this situation, but it will totally work going forward, so I'm really not that mad about it. Hey, Jasper! I got a great idea! Let's just stand right in the middle of this completely conspicuous orange tennis court. He'll never look for us there. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, oh, blow up the barrel! That's the whole barrel! I don't like... Are you hearing that? That was totally the sample they used for Welcome to Miami by Will Smith. That's awesome. I've never... I actually didn't know that that was a sampled song. Well, now I know what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to look that up off camera when this video's over. I gotta know what that song was originally sampled from. I love learning new things. Oh, no, you don't. Get the fuck out of here. The beat goes on, apparently. The beat goes on, and the beat goes on. Is this cop gonna do anything about this? I mean, he just saw me shoot at a bunch of dudes out of this helicopter, and I dropped out of here with this fucking giant gun. <laughs> and he, yet again, is not going to even bat an eye about this. He's like, ah, I'm sure these guys will figure it out. They're smart kids. Okay, where are these people shooting at me from? Or is he just in the helicopter up there? How am I gonna get into this fucking house? I probably went totally the wrong way on this one. I sure did. Oh, yep, yep, I'm just stupid. Oh my god! Oh my god! There's so many people up here! Oh no! Come on! Come on! Yep! Oh god, okay, yeah, like I said, this button configuration is not the most des desirable thing that there is in the world, but it's it's gonna work. I'll, I'll make it work for me. So I was watching uh, this video, this little compilation video of some Game Grumps stuff, which I don't know whether you guys like them or not, but I think they're fucking hilarious. Like, I, I love those guys. I think that they're absolutely... Hey, cool! Unintentional hidden package action! And by hidden package, I mean my ball sack is everywhere. But I was watching one of their little compilation videos, and there was this one thing that it literally drove me to tears because I thought it was so fucking funny. But they were, and it was just, it totally reminded me of my childhood. They were talking about uh, something where, it was kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese thing where you, um, they're like, um, I hope you're enjoying our substandard pizza. And something like, but you wouldn't know because you're just a dumb fucking kid. <laughs> and it, it totally reminded me of when I was really little and I had one of my, one of my, it was like my, probably like my third or fourth birthday at Chuck E. Cheese. And it was the first time that I ever met Chuck E. Cheese. Like I was over, over by the ball pit or whatever. And uh, I went back to go eat some of my pizza back in the day when the only thing that I would ever eat as far as pizza was concerned was just extra cheese. Just no pepperoni. Like I'd, like, I'd eat pepperoni pizza, but I wouldn't, like, go out of my way for it. Let's go, uh, let's go do some missions with the A. I'm feeling down with my own initial right now. We let's go do that. Even though I know, we could just go do a mission with the guy that's right there, but hey, that'd be way too easy now, wouldn't it? And so I went back and I was eating my extra cheese, totally clog up the innards of my ass pizza. And their, their statement of the whole substandard pizza thing was about as spot on as you could get. Because those places never had good pizza. And like, now that I go back and think about it. Okay, it worked. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know how I got away with that, but I did, and that's all that matters. By the way, I do intend at some point... Hey, hold on a second. I do intend at some point to go to Ammunition. Somebody commented about the fact that I don't... that I haven't gone there yet. Okay, well now we got the other guy here. Yeah, the guy's like, you're not... you haven't gone to Ammunition, or you're not putting in any cheats for stuff. It's like, first of all, I'm not going to be doing cheats for anything. Oh, wait, what the hell is this? Tommy, this is Donald Love. Donald, this here is Tommy Vercetti, the latest gunslinger to come to these parts. Good old Donnie. Now, Donald, you just shut up and listen, and you might learn something. Now, nothing brings down real estate prices quicker than a good old-fashioned gang war. 
except maybe a disaster like a biblical plague or something, but that may be going too far in this case. You getting this down, you four-eyed prick? Now, recently, a Haitian gang lord died. Apparently, the Cubans did it. Nobody's certain, but let's make them certain. You disguise yourself as a Cuban hombre and head on down and crash that funeral. Mix it up, and then hightail it. You getting this down, Donald? <laughs> yeah, kinda. Well, I'm not really writing anything, but I got, you. Group, I got you. Huh? And then we'll just sit back and watch a priceless tumble. I like how one of those, that little bubble right there, totally ran right down the middle of his crotch. Like, how was there rain on the inside of the car? It was weird. But, um, what the hell was I talking? Oh yeah, this guy's like, yeah, you don't put in any cheats or anything. It's like, first of all, I'm not going to be using any cheats, because that totally takes away half, I mean, I understand. Like, it is cool to run around with infinite ammo and a shitload of money and stuff, but that's not how we're playing the game today, because I just don't want to. I like I like being able to play GTA without having to resort to using cheats and like in, getting the health and armor codes and stuff. Like it was fun when I was just like playing it casually, but I'm actually like, you know, doing this to do it the way that it was intended. So that's what's going on there. But back to the story. So, um, I was thinking about that, and so I went back and I was eating I was eating my uh, my pizza, and my my dad was like, hey, do you want to you go over and meet Chuck E. Cheese? And, you know, me being a kid, I was like, yeah, yeah. But I was still kind of, like, really nervous about it because I'd never seen him, like, up close before outside of, like, you know, all the little statues and, like, the commercials and stuff they had plastered everywhere about it. And so when I saw him for the first time, I was fucking terrified. Oh, my God. It was so scary, because first of all, like, he comes up to me, and the dude is, like, six feet, you know, like, probably, like, six foot five, and, you know, me being this tiny kid, like, this guy was taller than my dad, and so, you know, my dad, for me, was always the tallest guy that I knew, but when I saw this guy just being this towering individual with that, over, that overly creepy-ass looking face, I just, I absolutely just screamed. Yes, I screamed like a little bitch, but it was creepy. Like he's just, and like you could hear that that muffled ass weird voice that doesn't match the body at all. He's like, oh, I know. Are you happy? Are you happy to see me? And I was like, ah! I and my dad's like, oh god. He's like, I'm sorry. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> so he just like he just like picked me up and threw me over his shoulder, and we got the fuck out of there. But. It just rem it just reminded me of like everything that I remember about um, about how creepy and those places were and how shitty their pizza was among other things. Okay, where am I going here? I think I gotta go around the outside here. God, I remember taking these missions in here. I do not like this area, not at all. But we'll get there. Unfortunately, we don't really have a choice in the matter, so it's gonna happen whether we like it or we don't. Alright, let's go in here. Oh, sh okay, we don't want to get out there. We don't want to do that. We just, uh, oh, hey. Do I, am I supposed to blow up this car? I totally wasn't paying attention. Ah! Get the fuck out of the way. Uh, I'm coming for you. Yes. Where is that, whoa. That guy just dropped a coffin out at me. What a dick. Alright. I got an idea for you. <laughs> Why? First of all, where are all these coffins coming from? They don't have that type of room for these things, and they're different color. Come on. I know you're running out of... Aha, I got you pinned, bitch! I got you pinned! You got nowhere to go! Ah, boom! That was actually a very delayed explosion. There we go. All right, just like that, he's dead. Well, that actually... Havana outfit delivered to Little Havana Streetwear in Little Havana. There was a little bit... It was kind of a little bit extra than what we needed to hear there. But we got it done. So yeah, moral of the story is, like, I don't even know if I ever want to take my kids to Chuck E. Cheese when, when they get old enough to do it, because that place is just fucking scary. But, inevitably, I'll probably end up doing it, just because I feel like every child needs to experience that once in their life. If in the event, like, and now Chuck E. Cheese is totally different from when I was a kid. Like, I wonder if there's a hidden package over here. I'll bet there probably is. It's one of these just random houses. Hey, Leo, I got some work for you. 
This ain't Leo. Hey, if Leo knows you got his phone, he's gonna kill you. Maybe Leo's already dead. Maybe I killed Leo and took his phone. Did you ever think of that, prick? You kill Leo? You must have big on it. Wanna work for me? Come by my father's cafe in Little Havana. And we'll talk mano mano. <laughs> How quickly he decided to change his mind on that. Hey, if, he's, if you got Leo's phone, he's gonna fucking kill you. Be like, well, guess what? He's dead because I shot him in the face. He's like, oh, ooh, well, aren't you the special man? I think I've got some work for you because I'm assuming that you're not employed by anybody at this current moment. Hey, what have we in here? I, a sword? Awesome. I have to replace it with something, though. I don't think I really want to do that. As awesome as swords are and everything, I don't think I'm going to take that offer. And now we should probably go figure out what to do about this whole thing here. But yeah, so it was it, it was something else. But yeah, Chuck E. Cheese is totally different now. He's not even anywhere near the same figure that I remember. He's like, he like totally appeals to kids way better than he did when I was going there. Like he actually looks more appealing to kids of that age bracket um, than what I remember because... Even when I was little, like, even when I grew up a little bit more, I remember thinking when I was, like, 10 or 11 years old that, holy shit, dude, this guy is fucking scary. In, you know, classic 12-year-old language that wasn't me talking like that, because I grow, oh, God. It's because I'm wearing this godforsaken Havana outfit that's probably not helping me out much. And he's got his own football field. That's, like, literally the size of a football field. I'm trying to find a hidden package here. I could have sworn there was one around here somewhere. I'm not particularly that great with remembering the location of most of these. Oh, oh, down here, maybe? No? Okay. Well, I'm not going to wait. Well, actually, you know what? I think it's in here. I know you're in here somewhere, but I don't know where that is. I am totally wasting all of our time. Trying to figure out where this fucking thing is. And it's not going to work. Because I have a terrible sense of direction. But somehow I'm making it out to the other side. I already have some stuff on Apparently that guy's got some other stuff on the side too. Whatever that's supposed to mean. I don't even think I even went anywhere just now. Oh no, I'm back out front. Everyone Come on. Come on. Let's go run into the house. We can save while we're in there. I thought that I'd maybe be able to get something worthwhile out of going in there, but apparently that's just not how it's going to work. And I can't go in there. Fucking cool. All right, well, we got to we gotta go for a drive, but at least we get to take a nice car out of it, so let's do that real quick. We'll go, uh, we'll go, we'll go save, and then we'll probably be done for the day, but I was just glad to get this done. It's fucking hot in here, my Jesus. I think it's because I have the light on. Oh, God. So, another thing that I, that's really pissing me off is this whole... I don't know if you guys follow sports or not, but this whole Washington Redskins bullshit is so stupid. Like, why do... Why do they need to change the name of it? Like, is it really that offensive? Like, I get the whole Native American thing. But if you're gonna... If you're gonna do... If you're going to do that even though it's not really offensive to the entire group, that means you'd have to change the names of a whole bunch of different organizations, like the San Francisco Giants, because that means you're discriminating against, you know, you're saying that you're pretty much discriminating against people of other sizes. You'd have to make them like the San Francisco one-size-fits-all, or uh, the fucking, like, the San Diego Padres, or the New England Patriots, or fucking... There was a guy that said the Chicago White Sox, which is stupid, because that doesn't even... It's not even derogatory against anybody, but uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates, or the Buccaneers, or any of that stuff, it's like... Like, if you're gonna do one of them, you have to fucking do all of them. But if you're not gonna do all of them, then what's the point of even doing fucking one of them? That means if you're gonna do those, and you have to do all the college ones, and all the hockey ones, and all that... You have to, like, literally change the names of half the teams in sports. It's fucking stupid. So that's my little miniature rant on that. But when we come back on the next episode of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto Vice City, we are going to uh, do some more missions, because now we have three places we can get them from. And that means we've got lots and lots of options. So when we come back, that's what we're going to do. But until then, this is AMF saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.